All right, let's get right to work on making this laser fade out. So hopefully the instructions for this one made a little bit of sense. Here we go. I'm going to go to the laser. First thing it said to do was give it a variable called strength. So let's go to create, drop a little bit of code. Strength equals 1. Now when I do 1.0, 1, 1, 1 1.0, same thing, Okay, especially in game maker language. So don't worry about that whether you like to put the decimal or not. So now I got the strength. It also said to make the strength go down. So let's go to the step. Strength equals strength minus. I'll just take off a little bit, 0 0.02. You have to remember that this is happening every step, right? You don't want to go down by too much or you'll hit zero very, very fast. And I should ask a quick question here. If the strength has gone less than or equal to zero, I was supposed to destroy this laser. So let's test this out. The laser should destroy itself on the screen. Okay, I haven't touched the draw event yet. Yeah, and there they go. They just sort of disappear there at the right time, right? Right around there. But what I want is I want the fade out. Now we know the strength is dropping down, and it started at 1. And I started at 1 on purpose, because now I'm going to do this. Add event, draw. And what I can do is I can use our new method, draw sprite extended. And this will let me draw everything about the laser that I want. And you notice here, it has an alpha parameter. And so I can plug in the strength variable in there. And as strength goes down, the alpha is going to draw down as well and draw out faded. So here we go. I want to draw a sprite laser. I want negative 1. I have no animation anyways. I'm going to draw it at x, y. Uh, the X scale, this thing's always the same scale. I could just put 1 and 1, which means no stretching, no compressing, right? Just normal scale. Rotation. Now, how rotated should this thing be? You can always do this. You can say image angle pretty well all the time in there. So if the image angle was set properly when the laser was made, and if you actually want to see that, it's right here in the boss when they hit the space bar you can see that I made my laser and I did set the image angle to image angle okay of the boss man so that they match so the image angle has been set so since the image angle is set I can just say image angle there another option that sometimes people use in there is they say direction Whatever direction the laser is going, that's the angle I want it drawn. Okay, but I'll just stick with image angle. It wants the color. We told you before, just stick with white for now. That's normal drawing. And the alpha. Now, one would be full. Zero would be totally transparent. Can't see it. We're going to put strength. Now, remember that strength variable is dropping. So it's going to go from 1 to 0, and that's how this laser is going to be drawn. Now, assuming this is all right, I think we're good to go. Give it a test, and that is the solution to this problem. And we got the nice fade and effect of the laser. By the same token, you can make something get bigger, smaller, rotate, you know, whatever variables in here. You can fiddle with and change and replace with variables, okay, which is nice. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you got that one on your own. See you in the next video.